Welcome to CML Entertainment, home of independent films. Listen, y'all. This movie done scared the living shit out of me. I think I'm going to cut this wolf pussy off my face. I'm going to get my life together. I'm going to have an old lady walk across the street because I've been scared straight. <laughs> Abattoir. Directed by Daria Lynn Bozeman and written by Christopher Monfetti. This movie was incredibly good. It scared the living crap out of me on a whole nother level. I know I've seen a lot of, I've watched a lot of horror movies, you know, but this one it flows a little beyond just the horror movie to me. This movie was really good. The movie starts with, like in the credits of this movie, you see all these disturbing deaths. Like the movie just comes on in the credit and you see all these people dying. Somebody getting hit with an ax. Somebody's getting drowned in the water. I mean, you're just seeing tons of death. So the movie starts off, you're seeing Julia, she's, she, you know, hanging out with her family. And and what's weird is the dad took the trash, you know, was taking the trash out or whatever. And Julia's over her sister's house, by the way, so I want to clear that up for y'all. So while dad, you know, while the husband is taking out the trash, you see, like, soon as he passed the bush, you just see this big, tall, husky guy right behind him, walks right into the house. I'm like, oh my God, you didn't sense that? Then what made it even more crazy, you see Julian and Julia and her sister talking in the kitchen. So they're talking and, you know, she's drinking some wine. And just right out the middle of the way, he just walks past her. I mean, this guy, like when I say in plain sight, this man did not hide. He was just in just straight up plain in their sights. So he goes upstairs and you don't hear nothing. Nothing goes on. Julia leaves, and that's when, you know, her sister and her boyfriend is, you know, husband, right? Husband. Her husband is downstairs. And you just see the door open inside their son room. And before you knew, you hear the most disturbing stuff. I'm trying to cut you off. You hear the most disturbing thing happen upstairs. You hear the boy screaming at the top of his lungs. You hear, I mean, you obviously can tell by the way the, the, the sound effect is that he is getting hacked up. His mother and father run upstairs and they get brutally murdered. And the next thing you know, Julia gets a call at work. And the person that called her at work was the person that killed the family. And he told her, um, yeah, this is the guy that uh, killed your family. So I just wanted to let you know that clip. And I was just like. Wow, but no, 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 it don't stop there. It don't mess your head up from that point. Now, like I said, from the credits, <laughs> like from that, from that point, your, your mind is just like that. Whoa, like when people get hit in this movie or killed, they get killed. So she finds out and she goes, she you knows she's talking to the cop because she talked to this, uh, the cop named uh, Grady. And she's letting him know, like, what's going on. He's trying to figure out. So they goes to the house to investigate to see what's going on, what happened in the situation. And then she end up seeing, you know, their body mutilated. And then he, you know, tried to comfort her because he didn't want her to see that. So they went back. They left the house to take care of some things and then went back to the house. And turns out that the murder scene of the area, the whole room, everything, the wall, the ground, the whole entire area was ripped out. Gone. Even from the outside of the house, you see like ripples inside of the house. That freaked me out so bad. I've never seen nothing like that in the movie. But before I get any further, let's just get to it rated, shall we? If this movie, two thumbs up and a big ass smiley face. Oh, yeah. I, just, I really don't want to spoil it for y'all because y'all see me going. I, uh, 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 uh. You know, I don't want to spoil this movie for y'all. This movie is really good. Did from beginning to the end. I've never seen a movie starts off strong like that. One part that I just can't get out of my head. The husband and the wife was in the kitchen. And she was making them dinner, right? Yes. You know the the, the little the spatula? They call it a spatula, right? Like mm -hmm. a roller? Now, y'all know oh. the big rollers. I'm talking about like the big rollers. Man, she was cooking him something to eat. Out the middle of nowhere, this man snapped. And he just beat her in the head repeatedly like, pew, pew. I mean, every hit, every blow, you felt that. I felt that. I felt for that woman brutally being beaten like that. Like, that was ridiculous. Like, I'm just saying, the, the, the score in this movie, the acting in this movie is out of this world. 
out of this world. Lynn Shay, I always loved her. I loved her in all the Insidious movies. I thought she was awesome in this movie. I, I definitely got to give a shout out to uh, Christina Landros, um, Joe Anderson, Lynn Shay, and Dayton Callie. Dayton Callie, man, he is amazing. He is the he is the I would say he's the architect. And I'm not going to say anymore. This movie is really good. I want you guys to check it out. And I love the character Julia. I like how you... I like her, the way she was dressed. Because I noticed that when I was like, wait a minute. So is this movie set in a certain timeline? Because that was so weird. Because she would dress so classy. Like back then. Like what it was like? What, like 18, 19-ish? Mm, like like 18-ish? Mm. But I love her style. I like the way she did things. You know, when they would talk about a typewriter and things like that. I thought her character was cool. And I just do all the cards, even the cop, you know, I like how I do I do everything. Everything about this movie is awesome. It's brilliant. I'm not going to spoil anything else. You guys got to check this movie out. The Abattoir. It's not called The Abattoir, but it's Abattoir. Check this movie out. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Abattoir because I told you what I thought about it. It got my highest rating. I highly recommend it. Awesome movie. Scary. Good. Will really make you think about some things. And the movie really touched down on some real basis, man. It will make you think. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I think I just changed. It changed my life. This movie truly changed me as a, my life and as a person. And it's awesome. And to all my movie lovers.